reason I picked The Highwayman by Alfred Noyes as a bit of a focus for our applying task is there's so much going on in there. It's such a fantastic story. You've got romance, you've got murder, you've got suicide, you've got ghosts, you've got a sort of creepy old pub setting, horses, what's not to like? It's so full of atmosphere and environment and it's a really really great start. If you listen to the poem again, make sure you understand what's happening and then take that knowledge and turn it into something else you are applying. Anything that you take the knowledge from your reading and turn it into something else is applying that knowledge and that's fantastic. There's loads of brilliant brilliant ideas in the grid. I'm assuming that you've had a look at those. If not, go do it now and then come back here. Um, when I think about applying the knowledge for this poem it's very much about an attitude and um, not just this poem but lots of poems and stories that were written at a similar time really really got people interested in things like Highwayman and pirates but also monsters and vampires and things. People were getting very into this sort of like dark and dangerous side and very excited by all of that. And that really had a huge impact on fashion, particularly, um, and still does right up to this day. Uh, you can still see um, people going for clothing that's inspired by this romantic, swashbuckling idea. So maybe you want to take that knowledge from the poem and apply it to some fashion designs. I would love to see that. Maybe you've understood that the poem is taking place in this old creaky pub that's a little bit spooky and you want to apply that setting to something else. So maybe you want to write a bit of a story set in the same place. Maybe you want to take those characters, you've got the highwayman who's all sort of gallant and charming and a bit of a hero and you've got Bess who's romantic and brave and very in love uh, and then you've got that sort of slightly unusual character, the ostler, that means somebody who looks after the horses who pops up just for a very small time. Maybe you want to focus on him. All sorts of interesting ideas and ways that you could apply this poem. Maybe you could draw the characters, that's always a great way of showing me that you can apply your knowledge. If you can draw the characters, that would be brilliant. Any of these things that involve listening carefully, taking the information from the poem and turning it into something else would be absolutely fantastic. One last thing to recommend, because this poem is based on a very romantic idea of what being a highwayman was like. Um, go and look at the Horrible Histories video about highwaymen, I think it's called Dick Turpin. Put that into YouTube and you will find some information about um, what highwaymen were actually like and how that differed from this version of them that we hear about in stories. That's fantastic. And then maybe you can make up your own version of a song or a dance or something to do with how highwaymen were presented in the poem to how highwaymen actually were. I would love to see that. Have a listen, have a look, enjoy your learning. See you soon. Bye bye.